Grumbling and complaining is a curse. It's like a person cursing themselves, and then the anger of God comes. I knew two farmers from Epirus. One was the head of the family and had one or two fields, relying on God for everything. He worked as much as he could without distress. I'll do what I can, he would say. Many times some of his sheaves were ruined by rain because he didn't have time to gather them, and some were blown away by the wind, but he would always say, Glory to you, O God, and everything went well for him. The other one had many fields, livestock, etc., but he had no children. If you asked him how are you, he would reply, Forget it, don't ask. He never said glory to you, O God. He just grumbled and complained. And you would see, once his cow died, another time something else happened to him. He had everything, but he made no progress. That's why I say that praising God is a great thing. It depends on us whether we will taste the blessings with which God gives us. But how can we taste them when God gives us, for example a banana, and we think someone else's fruit is better? How many people eat only dry bread, but day and night they glorify God and feed on heavenly sweetness? These people acquire spiritual sensitivity and know the gentle touch of God. We don't know that because our hearts are covered with sticky mud and nothing can satisfy us. We don't understand that happiness is found in eternity, not in emptiness.